guys, how you doing? JP Saricolia here. Now, Connecticut is a company that is really surprising me at every turn. Uh, they're offering a product that is unique in the market. There's not much competition, but it's something very refreshing. And as a company, they're doing everything uh, at their power to really push it and to really connect with the consumers, with the collectors. And to me, that's always good. Now, over the weekend, they opened the pre-orders for Gieshauer, the next in the SNK line on the 1-4 scale statue line. And it's going to be a companion piece to Terry Boger, a piece that was released just recently and a lot of collectors are super happy with it. It's a beautiful piece. Now in this video I want to let you know how I feel about this new piece. Is it good or is it bad? The things I like, the things I don't like and ultimately let you know and help you decide if this is a good pre-order or not. So stay tuned. All right, guys, before we go to the website, I want to uh, take you to Connecticut's uh, YouTube channel and uh, definitely they deserve a lot of followers they don't have that many followers but they're really showcasing a lot of stuff they're going live almost every week and uh, they're talking about the product lines they're talking about what they're, how they see the industry definitely these are cool guys they deserve our attention they deserve to be followed I know there's a lot of collectors out there statue collectors talking all the time uh, on, on YouTube all the time you know there's people talking like myself all the time there's a lot of chats but they are from the perspective of people that they're just consuming the product this is from the perspective of creators and in my opinion that's always good but they uh, also release over the weekend um, just to premiere this pre-order this uh, video it's a short video uh, showcasing geese hour so we're gonna watch the video first And there you have it. Connecticut.com. Cool. Well, I can tell you one thing, guys. This is a nice video. Um, a lot of companies don't do this, you know, and I love that they're doing it. And not only that, this song, for those who are familiar with Fatal Fury, this is actually the theme song of um, uh, Giz Hauer from actually Fatal Fury Special. Uh, it's pretty much a variation of the original Feral Fury song from, of course, Geese Hour's team as well. So, because he was the boss of the original Fatal Fury. Um, really love that they put the song in there. Really gives me the chills and brings back memories of when I was back there, you know, playing in the arcades. And I still do play a lot of Neo Geo stuff on my computer or on my consoles. I really love the, the in this case, the Neo Geo generation of games. And um, definitely, it's nice that they make this video. Sasha doesn't do this, or even XM sometimes. You know, I, they, they, they need to do stuff like this. And Kinetics is really doing something very good and refreshing, and definitely is pumping people to even purchase the stuff. All right, guys, now I'm at the website and I'm going to have the links to all of this in the description. It is not on pre-order uh, at SciShow yet, but eventually it will be there. Uh, but right now it's at their website. Uh, now, as you can see right here, it's Giz Howard, uh, the villainous CEO, one for scale diorama. That's pretty nice. And uh, it has a lot of pictures. We're gonna look at the pictures in a moment, but the price here is $6.99. That's the price of the piece, which is a very fair price in comparison to other collectibles at the same scale. Particularly uh, this, the, the style of this piece, so you know everything that is included. Then we're gonna look at the again. We're gonna look at the pictures in a moment. Now they also have a payment plan, uh, which is the minimum is one sixteen fifty. That will be the down payment. As you can see, you can pay the full payment now. You can make three monthly installments, or so you can pay six monthly installments, and the first payment is non-refundable if any of those options of course that's just a deposit so if you're going to pre-order this you have to be well aware that if for some reason you change your mind or something happens you lose your deposit and which is fair in my opinion now this is a diorama depicting Giz Howard performing his Repukin special move the base shows the stones from the Greek stage of King of Fighters 98 as it is destroyed by the impact of the special move now King of Fighters 98 is a very popular one a lot of people love that game in you know in comparison I've been playing King of Fighters since King of Fighters 94 since the original so I love them all particularly my favorite is King of Fighters 95 
I deserve by the impact of the special move. Uh, featuring the LED light up features, the statue showcases one main antagonist of the Fatal Fury series in quarter scale. The diorama is designed to connect with our Terry Boger statue sold separately. And I think they still have it in some places. Uh, but as you can see, you can choose everything is in US dollars. So definitely there they, they can sell anywhere in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Now here in the description, you have sculptor Rodrigue Perlier. If I'm not mistaken, he's from France. Uh, the painter is Artis Label and a deep MD who is the, one of the owners of the company. Now the background is Geese Howard, is the chief antagonist of the Fatal Fury series and a secondary villain in the Art of Fighting series. His role varies in the King of Fighters storyline, but he is always either in the position of a villain or an anti-hero. Now the estimated release date is the second quarter of 2021, who so is pretty much uh, out there and probably with everything that is happening in the world is probably not even going to match that day. Probably is going to release even later than that, but it, it's something expected in the collectible world. Now the edition size is to be uh, disclosed uh, to be, you know, pretty much announced later on. And that's because, you know, it's a collectible. It depends on how many pre-orders they get. Now here you have the scale one four. We know that the dimensions are in centimeters, uh, 68 centimeters by 48 by 62 it's an approximate um, uh, estimation of course um, but um, it's pretty fair it's pretty large now materials you got polystone and polyurethane resin so this is definitely a high quality product it has an LED light up and it comes with an exclusive if you purchase through Connecticut you get an A3 R print and they definitely have some really nice art prints at the website so it's a recommendation I don't think Sideshow is going to offer that now, no, the final product may vary slightly as we keep making improvements during production. That's something that all companies do. And of course, they have Mayshirno, which is very popular also. It did have a little bit of, I would say, some uh, uh, quality control issues. Some of them, not all of them. Uh, but Terry Bogor came out almost flawless. Now we're looking at the pictures, as you can see right here. I love the smirk in his face. Love that they choose this pose, which is part of the game. But look at the paint job. Uh, they did a phenomenal job. The painter did a fantastic job. You can see the detail even in the clothing, the hairs, uh, his eyes, you know, his eyebrows, really nice, very nice pose. Look, look at that, love. His power right there, the Rapukin is, is super nice, the way they did it. This is not, an, I would say, a piece that is small. This is going to take some real state, but that's the best part. And of course, in the previous picture, you see what the light-up feature is very gentle. It's not a strong light-up feature, but it fits so well with what they're trying to accomplish. At least in this picture, you can see that, and in my opinion, is good. Sometimes some light-up features look cheap. This one doesn't. And I really like the way they did it with Terry Boger, uh, with his power, with the power gazer. It looks great. Um, it really looks, uh, you know, it fits so well with the piece. But look at this. Really nice. Love that smirk again. Love the colors. Love the pose. He's a strong character. And again, this is something that can match. Even if you're a Tekken 7 fan, you're going to love this piece if you're collecting Tekken. There's not really that many pieces out there for Tekken, but they're being, they have been produced. A lot of companies are producing, and they're also I've seen some customs. So definitely it's going to fit so well with that. And I love this pose right here in front of it. Very nice. And definitely the clear resin they use is very, it fits so well, looks so good. Look at that. Again, they showcasing pictures with the light up feature and without it. And of course, any way you go is still nice. This is a different angle. Definitely, this is not going to be the best angle to showcase, although it's still nice the way, the, the, in this case, the power comes out. And you can see the different pictures. This is a different angle. Love how the light up feature works here. Of course, these are uh, professional photos, but still, you know, it gives you a good idea of what they're trying to accomplish. Nice. Love the detail and the musculature, everything. And this is Rodrigue did a fantastic job. He knows his anatomy and it looks so great. The piece looks great. It's a great pose, very natural. You know, because sometimes you see some sculptures that they produce certain statues. And I, I seen that with some even big names that they produce something that, first of all, is anatomically incorrect, first of all. And second of all, uh, it, the pose, it feels so unnatural. The movement, it doesn't feel like it's a, something that a normal body would do. 
but in this case he did a good job he is really representing a very natural body uh, first of all representing the video game but also doing it in a natural way and i think Rodrigo did the same thing with terry he's the one that if i'm not mistaken he's the one that sculpted uh terry and he did a very natural very normal pose and uh, it, it fits so well so whether you like the cartoony style of the video game or you like uh, something more realistic you definitely are well served either way um but look at that Love the detail. Even though it's a simple base, as you can see, the stone base is well painted. It has weathering. The stones look like real stones. It doesn't look fake. It doesn't look like some place. I've seen some statues where they just put a gray on it and it looks gray. But they it, this one has detail. Even the dirt, uh, it, it shows in there. And now this is definitely how it's intended to showcase, as you can see. Love the depiction. And as you can see, this is a huge piece. When you come to look at it, Terry is not a small piece. Terry is not at all small. And as you can see, he looks kind of uh, small in comparison to, in this case, geese, you know. And of course, it's natural. Uh, in the game, he's a big dude as well. But look at that. It looks phenomenal. This is going to be the display to match. And you're going to need a really huge display. This is not going to fit on a Vista. This is not going to fit in a regular display. You're going to have to, you, have, you need a table. You need a really, I would say, a custom made display. But if you're a fan of King of Fighters, you're a fan of Fiddle Fury, man, this is definitely a perfect, the perfect center uh, piece for your collection if you're collecting King of Fighters or Fatal Fury or SNK pieces. It's definitely, it's something. It's a, it's a beauty to behold. It's something so gorgeous. This is definitely a great piece. Well, guys, there you have it. I would say you need to pay full attention to uh, Kinetikets. This company is offering something so unique in a market that is so crowded with Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Terminator, Alien, Predator collectibles. It is unique. You, you don't see that many, uh, I would say, King of Fighters, SNK uh, franchises out there really uh, being produced in a one for scale, uh, even a one six scale. You know, there are companies, but not that many. And there is a large community worldwide that love these franchises. I'm part of that community. I grew up playing Fatal Fury, King of Fighters. So to me, this franchise deserves the same level of attention as any other. So definitely I'm excited for Connecticut's doing something so different and really offering something with high quality. But what what is your opinion? Are you excited for this? Are you going to pre-order or are you going to pass? Let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless you. Take care and I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.